Consider the following example. We want to use Boolean algebra to simplify this expression for f. And you'll notice that part of this expression has a bar over it. So pq bar plus pq bar r plus rq all has a bar on top. And where possible, it's good to try to simplify what's underneath that bar. And if we look at this first part, pq bar plus pq bar r, we could take pq bar out of that as a common factor to give us pq bar times 1 plus r plus rq, or with a bar over it, plus p bar q. And by the laws of Boolean algebra, 1 plus r is just equal to 1, so that that becomes pq bar times 1 plus rq, or with a bar on it, plus p bar q. And any combination of switches times 1, that will just give us pq bar, same as if it was normal algebra. So what can we do next to simplify this further? And at this stage we could use de Morgan's laws to say that we could work out that this part here plus this part here, since there's a bar over the top of that sum, it will become pq bar bar multiplied by rq bar, all still plus p bar q. And we could furthermore apply de Morgan's law again to break this up further. That first expression, pq bar, with a bar on top, will become p bar plus q bar bar. And this second part will become r bar plus q bar. And the whole thing is still plus p bar q. And when we have q bar bar, that is just the same as q by the laws of Boolean algebra. Now the next step is going to be to expand these brackets in the way that we usually would for ordinary algebra. So p bar r bar plus p bar q bar plus q r bar plus q q bar, expanding those brackets, and we still have that expression p bar q on the end there. Now q times q bar, in Boolean algebra that is just 0, so that simplifies this slightly to p bar r bar plus p bar q bar plus q r bar plus 0 plus p bar q. And as with ordinary algebra, 0 that will just disappear when we're adding 0 to leave us with p bar r bar plus p bar q bar plus q r bar plus p bar q. Can we do anything else with this now? Now notice we've got a p bar q bar and a p bar q. So we could take p bar out as a common factor from that part, giving p bar q bar plus q. And we're also still left with that q r bar term there. And once again, q bar plus q just gives us 1. So this becomes p bar times 1, which is just p bar. So we now have p bar plus p bar r bar plus q r bar. And look at this part here. We have p bar on its own plus p bar r bar. And when we have that, that actually just simplifies down to be p bar. So that we now have the following expression for our Boolean function f. And this, in fact, is the most simplified expression possible for f in this case.